time for fun fact guys do you know that there is a beautiful and a gigantic lake called Atitlan in the north of Guatemala now the very beautiful thing about this lake is that the lake is surrounded by 12 small villages named after all the possible saints oh yes whether it is San Marcos, San Lucas, San Pedro, San Juan you will find all of these villages surrounding this lake it's so beautiful that you know when you hop from one village to another around the lake you actually are visiting different saints so do visit lake atitlan in north of uh, guatemala when you are in guatemala i hope you like the fun facts stay in tune hola estudiantes como están bienvenido a la clase de español hoy vamos a estudiar el verbo tener para sentirse Hello my beautiful students, how are you? Welcome to the class. Today we're going to learn the verb tener, to feel. Well, we have already seen the verb tener in detail in the previous sessions, but today is a special uh, usage of tener, which is to feel, you know, and that's the beauty of a language. Uh, how one thing, uh, you know, changes in a language uh, different from the other language. So, to have is, uh, is a very general expression in English or other languages, right? But in Spanish, we're gonna use the expression to have to feel something. Yeah? Let us take a look. But before we actually go into the different uh, kind of feelings that we have, we're going to see the present tense conjugation of tener. That means different people having. So it's our favorite table, first person, second person, third person, single plural, tener. Okay, so tengo means I have, tienes means you have, tiene means he or she has, tenemos means we have, tenéis means you guys have, and tienen means they have. Now let's add a noun to it and feel it, okay? The first one is hungry. So how do you say I feel hungry in, in Spanish? I feel hungry. Tengo, which is, you know, I have, hambre, hambre means hunger. So in Spanish, you literally say, I have hunger, and you want to say, I'm hungry, or I feel hungry. So, tengo hambre. What if you want to say thirsty? So you say, so let's say if you want to say, you feel thirsty. Tienes, which is, you have, sed, sed means thirst. So you have thirst, you are thirsty. Let's talk about being scared. Mm. They feel scared. If you want to say they feel scared, you will say tienen, which means they have miedo. Miedo means uh, fear. So if they have fear, that means they are scared. Similarly, if you want to say hot, if you feel hot, high temperature, we feel hot. So you say we have, which is tenemos, we have calor. Tenemos calor means we feel hot. The next one is uh, jealousy. Well, pretty common. She feels jealous. So we will say tiene, which is she has celos. Celos means jealousy. So she has jealousy, that means she is jealous. Let's move on, folks. To say uh, feeling ashamed, let's see if you want to say he feels ashamed. That means tiene, he, or he has, tiene vergüenza. Vergüenza. So, tiene vergüenza, he's ashamed. We'll talk about confidence. Hmm, pretty cool. She feels confident. So she feels, so we'll use she has. She has confianza. Confianza means confidence. She has confidence, that means she feels confident. Tiene confianza. Let's move on to talk about cold. If I want to say I feel cold, I feel cold, I have that means I have. So, tengo frío. Frío means cold. I have cold. Let's move on to the next one. We want to say sleepy. Ah, sleepy. So, you feel sleepy. We will say tienes. You singular. It's, it's uh, second person singular. So, we will say tienes. You have sleep, which is sueño. Tienes sueño means you feel sleepy. The last example on our list is pain ah uh, pain if i want to say i feel pain i will say tengo which is i have dolor dolor means pain so tengo dolor means i have pain 
Well, that was about the verb tene to use uh, in a context of feeling. I hope you really enjoyed and find it very interesting that it is something very unique and special about a language called Spanish. If you wish to uh, keep learning from me, folks, please subscribe to my channel. Till next session, take care, goodbye. Espero que les gusta mi manera de enseñar y espero que un día van a hablar español muy bien. ¡Vamos! Hasta luego. Chao, chao.